April 5. Victory instead of failure. The righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Romans 8, verse 4. Even though the power of God is promised to every believer in Jesus, a lot of people battle through life feeling like failures. For as long as they can remember, they've been stuck in a rut, defeated by the same old sins again and again, feeling as though they'll never get it right. If you follow the desires of your selfish self, you will be governed by the old you. But the promise is that God's righteousness will be manifest in those who walk according to the Spirit. When you walked as a small child, you put your hand in your parent's hand, and mom or dad kept you upright. If you now put your hand in the hand of the God of heaven, he will do exactly the same for you. Consider someone with a bad temper. Something happens that agitates that person. Walking according to the flesh, that person will follow the promptings of their carnal, fleshly self. There will be a fall into sin which is often followed by the despairing feeling that he or she will never get it right and will continue to fall when temptation arises. But instead of following the promptings of self, that person may call out to God when temptation strikes. Those who ask God to guide them and to keep them by the power of the Holy Spirit experience the alternative to spiritual failure. They hear the Holy Spirit say, take a deep breath and walk away from the situation and don't hold a grudge or just simply smile and carry on. And miraculously, when the person surrenders to the leading of God, the power of God brings that person to victory instead of defeat. Through God's power and blessing, the righteousness of the law may be fulfilled in you. God wants you to experience his righteousness today.